George Gordon studied economics at Cornell University after spending 1943 through 1945 with the United States Marine Corps in the Pacific. Leaving college in 1952, Mr. Gordon immediately began work for Standard Oil. And I was a landman, still am, whatever I can do, in Michigan, Illinois, Kentucky, and so forth. And uh, I eventually ended up here. When he bought Rockwell Lake and the surrounding property in 1995, local area fishermen called the property by another name, Perch Lake. Supposedly an average of 30 feet deep, the lake had a long history as an angler's paradise, home to several species of fish, including largemouth bass, bluegill, perch, and trout. Mr. Gordon remembers checking with some of the neighbors before purchasing the property. They knew the lake is a fishing lake, full of trout. Many of the area neighbors hadn't been there in years, but most remembered fishing in Perch Lake. I went up there with a friend of mine, went up there, um, and we went to fishing on Rockwell Lake. And when it was, I think it was average three foot deep about that time. A subsequent survey of the lake, however, revealed that over the years, sedimentary deposits in the lake had reduced it to no more than nine feet at its deepest point. At the lake's dissolved oxygen level and high volume of mud, it was poisoning its outlet, Fairbanks Creek. Gordon and his surveyors also found that due to the reduced depth, most fish would be susceptible to a winter freeze. They concluded that if the lake was to sustain a large fish population, it would have to be dredged. In 1998, the dredging project began. According to Mr. Gordon, the difficulty with this endeavor became apparent immediately. The mud in Rockwell Lake would not settle. Usually mud, I think, settles. Flocket mud does not settle. It's too light. It's powdery. And so they have a problem with it always uh, moving in and out and so forth and up and down. It, and it won't settle on the ground and stay there. Eventually, the lake would need to be dredged twice in order to separate the mud from the water. Mr. Gordon gave the property to Hillsdale College as a biostation in 1999. Since then, the students and faculty of Hillsdale's biology department have been using the lake and Fairbanks Creek to conduct scientific research. Students' projects up here run the gamut from fisheries management in our lake to genetic population genetic studies of insects, fish, small mammals. We've done radio telemetry. We've looked at organisms and their ability to monitor against pollution, both chemical and thermal. We've done insect chemical communication. So sky is the limit. It's a beautiful lake, especially at night, you know. It is, it's a, a beautiful thing, and, and people are getting to uh, use it more and more, which is good. The most important thing to me is to see we have crowds up there and, and to talk to people, and you know, they like it, and they come back.